with the number of years of experience that you have time after time after time continues to hide the ball to the extent you possibly can for as long as you possibly can and I really don't want to believe that it is purposeful but honestly after a certain number of times you start to wonder how it could be anything but that unless it is just that you are so unorganized that you are throwing this case together as you try it and I am sorry to say that but this case is being made much more difficult for everybody because of the haphazard way in which it is being presented I'm, I'm gonna take a recess for a few minutes I'll have a Okay, welcome back, you guys. Jay Larone presents here. Uh, if you haven't, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, share. It helps the channel grow. Um, yeah, <laughs> this shit is crazy, man. So if you guys haven't heard, uh, Young Thug has been set free. And it seems like it's because the prosecutors has been, haven't been doing their job. So as you can hear, the judge is fed up with what's going on. And... Yeah, he he basically um, copped a plea where he's out on probation and he has to be on probation for so many years. You know, he can't do anything to violate the probation. But to me, it's all a setup because it's like he can't be around anybody that, you know, that he used to hang around with. You know what I'm saying? Because it could be in violation. So it's a lot of it's a lot of things in that in that order that's, you know, in his probation that he can't do. So. But yeah, so let's go ahead and hear about, let's go ahead and listen to Pink Book Lessons. Um, shout out to her, you guys. Fair use, fair use. And oh yeah, before y'all, before we get into it, I need y'all to do this. Acknowledge me. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. You know, the key word here is incompetent. The longest running trial in Georgia history. This YSL case I would call a circus. It was super embarrassing and exposed the incompetence of Fannie Willis and her office. You literally had short bus shawties like Woody running circles around them. It was just so embarrassing. Why did you destroy your shoulder? Cause they my shoulders. What is 372? Numbers. I know I ain't complete school, but I, I think I'm speaking proper English. I told you, I don't recall nothing I said to no police. You keep sitting right here asking me the same question over and over and over and over and over. I'm tired of it. I'm drained. Okay. Well, if you just answer the questions properly. I am answering the cool. question. You ask me, I say yes, yes. You keep When I say yes, you ask me the same question over and over and over and over and over. But you, did you just tell the court and this jury that you're saying yes just to move the process along? I think I said it loud and clear. Going back to January 11th, 
2015. Enrico. You, can I finish the question? They didn't listen to the question. And they keep bringing up third name. So what I did was to get them off of me, I said, third did this, third did that, third did, because I knew they would never, I knew he didn't do it. And they, I, in my mind, I knew that the police would never go mess with him. So it was easy for me to try to throw the blame off on him to get them off of me. And that's what I was doing from all these years. I don't remember what I don't told them in the past, but my whole motive was Doug did it because I knew he didn't do it and they couldn't lock him up. And they keep talking about Doug, 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 Doug. So guess what I'm gonna tell them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what else you want me to tell them? Yeah, he killed this person. Yeah, he did that. That's what, I, that's what I'm gonna do. And that's right now. If you tell, if I walk out this thing and, 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 and they say, the police stop me now. Hey man, give me something about Doug. I will make something about him again. Now Young Thug's part of this whole situation is supposed to be over. He ended up accepting a plea deal that allowed him to go home, which I also believe is a setup. The first thing that came to mind is, it's not a coincidence that Fannie Willis came up with this plea just two business days before her election. At a time when the judge was so fed up with the situation and how sloppy they presented their case, that it was on the verge of a mistrial. We're going to get into that, plus Young Thug's father, he said that Fannie Willis should be held accountable and he endorsed her opponent, Courtney. Not just the art, freedom of speech. Let's talk about his, his rights. We have we freedom of speech, man. You know, how can you take a person's freedom of speech and say, now we're going to tell you how you need to talk, or how you're supposed to talk? You know, who would feel comfortable with? Would any of us out here right now feel comfortable with someone telling us, you, you confirm from saying this? You can't say that? You know, what, what do the Constitution play a role at? You know, these young men, all of these young men, and some of us too, all of our rights are being violated right now because we're being we're being dictated to. I was I was in agreement with Brian and Keith. You know, let's keep fighting. You know what I'm saying? You know, let's let's make them continue to embarrass themselves. You know, but at the same token, my son is a. You know, I've never tried to interfere with his decisions. I just try to give him the knowledge of making the best decision that he see fit for him. You know, I've always been in his life from a pup to now. And I'm going to continue to be in his life. You know, and as an adult, he has to make his own decision. And you know? do you live here in Metro Atlanta? Yes, I do. So how does it feel to hear that he's not allowed to be in Metro Atlanta? I'm totally against that because this is where he's from. You know, and to have a to have a district attorney take that away from him that doesn't that ha isn't a residence from here. She's from another state, you know. And to see her how see her take a man away from where he's from to have to go live somewhere else that's a that's offensive to me. For at the city of Atlanta, Fulton County. We need to get rid of the poison that's in our system. And that's the district attorney office. So vote Courtney Kramer. So Courtney Kramer, I support Courtney Kramer to the fullest. I feel like she's the best person for the job. And it's not because of what she said about us. It's because she said that and she was in my company and never knew who I was. Damn. So he's like, forget Fanny, you know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, Fanny's coming up for re for re-election, right? So yeah, it's like, but you know, with Atlanta being that type of area or city, more than likely Fanny probably gonna wind up being reelected. You know what I'm saying? Even though she bumbled this um YSL trial, you know, the fact that she was or is going after Trump the way she's doing, you know, more than likely they they they, they probably going to go ahead and re-elect her again, and it's going to be some more foolery. So, yeah, but let's keep it moving. Absolutely true. And the woman that's with him, she agreed that Courtney's stance on the YSL situation, it made sense, and the prosecutors were out of order specifically Fannie Willis's prosecutorial targeting. She wanted to be famous and she was willing to do whatever the Democrats wanted her to do in order to move up. 
Now, let's connect this. That's the reason why the Shade Room was trying to make Young Thug's father look crazy. It's because he endorsed Courtney. Courtney yep. is running against Fanny. And the yep. Shade Room is obviously bought and paid for. They're being paid to not only distract, but to control millions of black people. And on top of that, they're being paid to convince us to go against ourselves. That's what they're doing. We need to start making the people accountable that no, makes the pay decisions attention. for us. So we need to put the right people in office. We need to start scanning the people that we vote for. Young Thug is a big artist. People have heard about his case. That was an alleged RICO case in Georgia. This was the case to remind people where art, uh, black art, as you've called it, lyrics were being used, attempted as criminal evidence. Um, he has pled, which is a sort of a resolution to part of the case. What, what, if anything, can you tell us about that? Uh, I couldn't say too much about it for the last two years because I was uh, going to be a witness uh, for him. But today is a great day. You have a father, uh, a leader of his community uh, coming home. You have a son that gets to hug his mother. So by, by pleading, he'd been held. And I just want to remind people, there are a lot of Republicans, Trump officials, the all white people. Um, who were free before their trial in the same jurisdiction. He was being held not because he was convicted, he was being held in pretrial detention. Yes. Right. And see, they play these games all the time. I'm talking about the media. He's up here saying black art. He's talking about music lyrics being used to prosecute people when they didn't have real evidence against them to support the charges. The host of the show bringing up white people and Republicans. That's yep. the play on the racial sensitivity of right. black people. He's talking right. like the DA who did this wasn't Fannie Willis, a Democrat, a black woman. The same one who yep. dropped charges against the officer who took the life of Rayshard Brooks at Wendy's in Atlanta. Remember, the officer was charged by the previous DA. Fannie ran against him, won, and got in bed with the same people they said were the bad people. She refused to move forward with prosecution. This all happened in a Democrat city under Democrat black mayors in a Democrat black DA. But listening to how the whole say this out, your average person watching the program wouldn't even know that. And so you're saying. Right, they, they would think it's a white person doing it because they let Trump's team, Trump people go because they're white, but they kept young thug because he's black. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to race bait him. Tonight that this deal will now mean for the first time he, he leaves. I hope to see Doug tonight. Wow. I hope that he hugs his mother tonight, hugs his six kids that he hasn't seen, and more importantly, gets back to changing the, the face of Cleveland Ave. You know, he was a beacon of light. And what happens, they took that beacon of light uh, out of the community to darken the community. And now he's going to go back and shine even brighter. And um, welcome home, Doug. I definitely have some thoughts on Kevin Lyles that I'm going to hold right now until I expound on the rest of the segment that he did. But yeah, they're talking about the work of Fannie Willis without bringing up Fannie Willis. Right. It's like they want people to believe that the Fulton County DA is somebody else. Mm -hmm. And again, a it's not person. a coincidence that they agreed to a plea just two business days before her election. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Tell me what you think about this below. Shut but yeah, it's like it's like Pink Book said. They they they're saying it as if Fanny wasn't the one doing it. Like you know, why would a black woman let these white people go, but keep the black person in jail? You know, uh, pre pre trial. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, they could have they they didn't have to keep um, Young Thug in there, man. They could have done the same thing to him. They could have let him go and be out. You know. Before the trip, but yeah, it's it's stupid. But the way it, he's wording it is like it, it wasn't Fanny doing it. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even mention her. So anybody who who's not following, who's just now listening, they gonna think it was a white person, you know, letting the white people go, but keeping the black dude in jail. But you guys, drop some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. All right, it's your boy Jay Ron with Jay Ron presents. You guys, please be good to yourselves by all means. Let's be good to one another. And before I let you go, I need y'all to do one thing for Acknowledge me. Show your boy some show your boy some acknowledgement. All right, you guys have a good one. All right, peace.
BAGI NEGIT